In this video, we're going to talk about the guitar solo for my song, Greetings from the Galaxy. And I'm going to talk to you about my approach to playing the solo on that song and the thought behind it and some of the tones I got. Um, and it was done on this very guitar. So let's get to it. Hi, I'm Drew Yoll. Welcome to my channel. Please hit the red subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you can be notified of future videos. Hi, it's Drew. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at a song called Greetings from the Galaxy, which is on my album Return Echo. Um, and it's one of the, uh, the final songs on the album. And um, when I was recording it, I initially had a different ending for it. And Doug, who produced the record, felt that there should be something a little extended at the end and a guitar solo. And so I wrote some chords and I had the strings play those chords and then I decided to figure out what I wanted to do for a guitar solo over it. And what you hear on the record is the first take that I did actually. It's very emotional um, and you can hear that there's a lot of space in it. It's not about acrobatics on a fingerboard, it's really about telling a story and in this case I felt like the guitar had to be my other voice the words I couldn't say um, in the loss of someone, which is what the song is about. So it has to convey that emotion. And uh, luckily I got this guitar just in time before the record was finished because this ended up to be the guitar that's on the song. This is a Paul Reed Smith and McCarty 594, which is an amazing instrument. Uh, the pickups in this guitar are what they call low turn pickups. So they don't have as many winds around them as a lot of modern pickups do. So you can hear more of the articulation and the voicing of the notes. And that to me was really important, especially for this type of guitar solo. So what you hear on the song is this guitar with just a little bit of overdrive and compression. Um, you can hear a delay in the background. And the delay is designed to just be uh, the afterthought after you hear the note. And of course, a little bit of reverb. And so I'll give you an example. If I play this opening phrase, you can hear the delay afterward. Another example. So you can hear how the delay kind of answers the notes that I'm playing. So this was something very specific that I wanted to go for, and uh, I'm so happy that this came in time to be able to do that. So we'll take a look at the, uh, the effects that I used on it. And let's also take a look at some of the acoustic parts that were played on it. Thanks for watching, stay inspired, and I'll see you in the next video.